back channel so today we're going to finally do some real tuning on the 2016 camaro ss so anyway we're going to get in the car there we're going to run a couple logs before we start making any changes To take out a little bit of fuel so I'm gonna go into engine it's already setting on fuel power enrichment we're gonna go down here and what we're gonna do is we're not gonna bother down here low because we're not we don't uh, we're gonna leave a stock down here we're gonna start leaning it out about 4,000 so I'm just gonna just going to take all these cells all the way out and I'll put uh, 0.99 and we're going to times it. That, basically what we're doing is take 1% out. So before it, it was calling for 15.7% and now we're going to be calling for 14.6%. Now we can probably take a lot more out because it's running pretty rich. But what we're going to do, we're not. I'm not an experienced tuner, so what we're going to do is sneak up on it. It takes longer, but it's a lot safer. Basically what we did, we took out 1% fuel, and then we're going to flash this in the car, and then we're going to take it out and see uh, see the difference in the, in the air-fuel ratio. We want to lean it out, but we just want to lean it out a tiny bit at a time. We're shooting for 12.8, but it's gonna, it'll take a few tries to get there. Okay, now we've got to turn the ignition on. Without starting the car, just turn the ignition on. Okay, and then we're going to hit hit the right button, and we're, we're not going to do this one, do not write, we're just going to write to the, the ECM and the transmission, but we're leaving this one out, the body control module. Okay, so the ECM's all been flashed. Now we're gonna do the transmission. I don't think we have to actually flash the transmission because I never made no changes. But anytime that we didn't, we always got a check engine light saying that we're, the transmission uh, TCM is not communicating. So I'm not sure why that is. It could be for a completely different reason. But anyway, we're gonna flash it this time until we get a little, little more time doing this and learn a little more. We are basically a pair of chimps with a keyboard in, in this situation. Okay, so, so write's complete, so I'll hit close. Uh, back out of this, and then what we gotta do is turn the ignition off. And then we gotta cycle it on and off three times before we actually put the foot on the brake to try to start it. Because if you, if you try to start it right now, it won't start. Turn her back off. That's one. I'll do another one. Okay, this time it should start. If it don't, I'm gonna bail real fast. <laughs> It'll be all right. You wanna hook this one up before you start it? Or? No, just start it first. Okay, so she started. We're gonna take it out one more trip. <laughs> What we're doing is working. It's, it's uh, leaning out. We're getting we're getting real close to where we want to be, but we're gonna take it one more percent out. So again, you go in under engine, fuel, and fuel enrichment. What we're gonna do is first off, I'm gonna take these ones. These are the ones we didn't touch right here. I'm gonna take that take them one percent lower.
Okay, and then we're going to take these ones up here and pull one more percent out of this. That way it gets a smoother transition. I don't know if it matters, but we're going to do it that way anyway. And the reason we're not going down here is because he already can't get no traction. So if we were to get more power in first gear, it would be no good to us. So why not leave it stock right here? And that way it's even safer and we'll just lean out up the top here. So anyway, we'll pull out one more percent. And then we'll just save that tune. Okay guys, so we're going to flash the next tune in. So, so far we've taken uh, be 2% out. Isn't that right, Jonathan? 2%? Okay, I'm not going to bore you with flashing. We're just going to flash this in and we're going to take it out for another spin. Okay guys, we're going to take her back out. We just, I think that's 2% uh, now we've taken out. So far it's been working. It's it's getting closer to the 12.8 that we want. That's That's the target. Okay guys, so we're going to call it a day. We're not through tuning. We're just getting started actually, but uh, uh, if, if you have one of these cars, I would recommend that you, if you have somebody in the area that can tune it for you, that's got a lot of experience, that's the way to go. But if you're in a position like us, where there's, there's really no one in the, in the area that can tune these, and there's no dynos available, uh, and you got, you got no choice but tune it yourself, uh, I recommend doing it like this, just taking small baby steps, just re real small changes. Don't go ba making a whole bunch of changes all at once. Just one small change at a time, take it out, try it out. It takes a lot longer, but there's a lot less chance of doing something wrong. And uh, now if you got a if you got a boosted car, whether that be turbocharged or supercharged, and you have no experience, I absolutely would not recommend tuning the car on your own, even if you do take, even if you are making small changes. You definitely want to get access to somebody that knows how to tune cars like that. But as far as an NA car like this one, if you got no choice, you have to tune it yourself, uh, just make small changes. And I highly recommend going to Goat Rope Garage. He, uh, it's got a lot of videos on there that will that'll point you in the right direction. And the Tuning School is another good channel. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.